Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardOCP.com and I wanted to give a little addendum to our article writing up about the uh, 7900X overclocking. And so what we have here is a little bit of a temperature setup. I'm going to show you how it works today and what exactly we're showing you in the article. Before we get to that, let me show you what we have running here. It's running at 4.6 gigahertz. This is our Intel Core i7-7900X has a RAM speed of 3600 and this is the MSI X299 SLI Plus motherboard. This is the third uh, motherboard that we've been uh, playing with around overclocking on. Gotten some different results. This one's uh, been my favorite to work with so far. As you see, we've got three instances of handbrake running and coding 4K videos, which I've found to be an excellent load. Okay, so what we have here is our Sperry Thermo uh, couple uh, meter setup. And what we have, first off, we've got one thermocouple on the back of the water block. We have another thermocouple right here on the back of this heat sink on the, uh, on the back of the PWMs down on the motherboard. I've got another one run on the underside of the motherboard. And another thermocouple actually inserted into the... Uh, the 12 uh, or the um, ATX wiring harness going down on the board. So what we're looking at there is all this is obviously wired up into our Sperry. And so the blue tape you see there is there to keep this 120 millimeter fan from blowing under the motherboard. And what you see right here is a little panel that I rigged up to keep the uh, wiring harness out of the airflow. So it doesn't have any airflow over it. The bottom of the motherboard doesn't have any airflow blowing under it, which is the way this stand is actually designed. Um, so let me show you what we have here. On uh, thermocouple number one, which is our wiring harness, we're looking at 38C, which will give you 100 degrees flat. Uh, I think that's about where it probably should be considering the heat coming off the motherboard. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. If we roll over to thermocouple 2, 113F or 45C, that is our thermocouple that is on the bottom of the motherboard underneath the uh, PWMs. If we come over here to number 3, that is our thermocouple is down on top of the heat sink, 37 degrees C. 98 degrees F, and our last one, which is the thermocouple on top of the uh, water block, 98 F, 36 C. So I think the uh, what we really want to look at here is the difference between 2 and 3, which, okay, again, that's 37 C on top of our uh, heat sink. We're looking at 44 C on the bottom side of the motherboard with no airflow over it whatsoever. And honestly, I think that Delta is, uh, that Delta is very good and showing us that our heat sink is working properly. No big deal. This motherboard, let me bring the light down some. This heat sink, you can see there, is screwed down on two sides. So it's on there very, very firmly. But the heat sink's definitely doing its job. Uh, I think uh, we don't really have any problems here. I've got this system running rock solid at, uh, like I said, under full load at 4.6. And if you see right there, there is our voltage at the, our wattage at the wall, which uh, stays right around 350 watts. So that's the setup we're looking at, and uh, we'll talk more about it in the article.